Hello, nice to meet you. Um, how disappointed are you, Alison? Um, I'm pretty disappointed. Uh, I think we just let them keep the ball too easily, mm -hmm. and I guess maybe our nerves showed a little bit mm -hmm. during this game. But it was a very really rough start after like 45 seconds. Yeah, I think our um, the way we're, we were defending didn't really match up well with their offensive play. Mm -hmm. But once we kind of figured out a better way to pressure them and defend, it started to get a little better. Hmm. I think the second half was definitely, yeah, definitely better than the first half, but we just got to, this game shows kind of what we got to work on. So. And the next opponent is Lynch, I think it's also very strong defensive. Too. Right, yeah, I think this next week we have hmm. some things we need to work on defensively and offensively, but I guess this was just a good test to show us our weak areas that we need to improve on. Hmm. You're from Kansas, from Prairie Village? Prairie Village, Kansas. Sounds pretty beautiful, very beautiful. Yeah, place. actually, you'd think it's a small, like, mm. farmland, but it's actually pretty big. It's right mm. outside the city, so. Mm. Mm -hmm. and, and your soccer has taken you quite a lot of, around the world. Yeah, it has. From Chicago to Hawaii. Hawaii. I mean, that's a kind of yeah. 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 It was a uh, life-changing experience. Yeah. It put the fun back into soccer for me, that's for sure. And gave me the boost I needed to continue my career professionally so and from, from there you went to Sweden from there I went to Seattle okay. back to Kansas City yeah. then to Sweden you played for the rain or for the uh, I yeah I was on well I didn't I was I didn't have a contract but I um, was on I was a reserve for a little while mm. um, but then I went to Kansas City and joined their reserve mm. team before I mm. went to and Sweden. Last year it went extremely well for you and, and for the keeper of the mm -hmm. Yeah. You scored. I, I didn't find how many goals you scored, but it was quite a lot. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. Thirteen. My lucky number. Mm -hmm. And what are your expectations for this season now? You know, I. It's a hard question because I don't really know what to expect from this league, as I've never mm -hmm. played in it before. I've heard many great things, and mm -hmm. it's very competitive, and there's a lot of strong players. Um, I guess our goals are just to do as well as we can and. You know, we don't want to get relegated, obviously. We've beaten Gothenburg, so we show, you know, show that we can compete with other teams. This was a little bit of a disappointment, but we just got to pick our heads up and keep looking forward. On the other hand, they have so many international players who play, play very good like Germany and Sweden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, we have a couple as well, but mm -hmm. I don't really think just because you're on the national team doesn't mean really anything sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, you have those standout players as well that mm. don't have any national team experience mm. and you know the underdogs always it's a, always a better story yeah. tell me something about your hair my hair Beautiful. thank you i <laughs> i was just when i first moved to sweden i had a lot of extra time and mm. i saw some pictures and mm. i was just like all right i'm gonna do it so i just did it and i stuck with it so mm. okay yeah it's my thank statement piece <laughs> <laughs> thank you very much thank Good you luck. thank you